Hello and welcome back to the next episode of our Fallout New Vegas Let's Play series. In the last episode, we made it all the way over here to Novak. Found out they're having a little bit of problems up at RepCon, so we need to go and deal with that today. But before I do that, Manny and Boone have traded positions, so let's go up and meet Boone, talk with him, see if there's anything we can help him out with. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Are you expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am, but not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Well, if you're looking for someone in particular, I could tip you off if I see them. Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. Oh, I just... I'm meeting new people. I think you better leave. Do you treat everyone around here like this? Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why's that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You're trying to track your wife down? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Okay, what do you want me to do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Okay, and how do you know your wife is dead? I know, all right. That's all you need to know. All right. And you only trust strangers? I said it was a start. This town. Nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. Well, I'll see what I can do to help you out. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. Okay, well, I'll go find that out yeah. for you. All right. Yeah, Bean's wife disappeared one night. Really nice people here in this town. See, so there's all kinds of people we could talk to. We could go and talk to you no bark and and try and sort out the truth between all his malarkey. Or we could just come in here, make sure Miss Jeannie Mae is not in here, and pick her safe. Which I find the easier way to do it. So, yeah, and we're going to steal everything that we need out of there. Yep. All right, that's all we needed. I just need to look at that real quick. Oh, wow. So, this is a bill of sale for Carla Boone in the sum of 1,000 caps and 500 for those of her unborn child to Jeannie May Crawford. Oh, naughty, naughty Jeannie May. No wonder you were so nice to me when I came in. Well, let's just go uh, talk with Miss Jeannie May and see if we can get her to come up and take a, take a little walk with me to the dino. Miss Jeannie May, are you in bed? You are in bed. Hey there. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, well, what can you tell me about Bean's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but... I guess you got tired of waiting. Really? So what's wrong with Bean? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. 
I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Right. She may not have had any, uh, any help with that. So why don't you come with me? There's something I want you to see in front of the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. And she just very willingly marches right out there. And not at a slow march either. She walks at quite the rapid pace. Oh, I like it. Look at her go. She's definitely got a little giggle in her step there. So let's go ahead and get her all the way out there. And we'll, uh, we'll help poor Bean out. I can't believe she can say all that with a smile on her face. Come on, Jeannie Mae. And while I do it, Victor's over there like, yeah, something's about to go down. Let's get Boone's beret on. All right, Jeannie Mae. Sorry, not sorry, ma'am. I'll go ahead and take her safe even though I don't need it. Or her safe her key to the safe so we can actually go ahead and just take off Boone's helmet because he is going to uh, he's going to want that back all right Boone that's it then how did you know oh I found the bill of sale I guess I shouldn't be surprised it'd be like them to keep paperwork here this is all I can give I think our dealings are done here well, what will you do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander, like you. Well, why don't you come with me? You don't want to do that. Oh, I thought snipers worked in teams. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Alright, and we get a level up. And for this one, I need to get science moving up to a good clip. Uh, 40, 50, 60, yeah, that... Actually, give me 45 into that. The rest is going to go into guns, I believe. Yeah, I'm good with that. Let's go. And I get a perk this time. Ooh. Wasn't expecting that. So, sneering and peerless. You don't take kindly to raiders, junkies, or travels. Trying to settle. Against dirty raiders and junkies. Zion's travels. Uh, yeah. That would actually come in handy with... Um, but that's only in, in vats. I need to get, my, oh, you know what? I do need to get my repair going up higher. Mm. Actually, can I go back to that? My repair, oh, yeah, my repair is at 38. Let's put those back down. Let's get that moving into repair then. I want my repair to go up. And then I think we're going to take toughness this time. I think I'm I'm good with that one. All right, Bean. I need you to. I need to talk to you. What is it? I think we need to part ways for right now. What you think? Yeah. Um. You should head back home. Right. Guess I'll be around Novak for a while longer until I figure out what I want to do with myself. Okay. Thank you. See you around. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back for you. The robotic... Ah, ah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Actually, I've looked, and those aren't actually in my thing, so I don't know... I don't know why I keep getting those. They don't actually show up as any kind of a perk. So, I think I should actually wait. And before we do that, I am going to put on Boone's beret. I really like his beret. We will be traveling around with Bean, just not for the moment. I kind of want to do all this by myself. How much am I carrying? I'm carrying quite a bit. Oh, wait. Can I talk to... What's his name? 
or do I need to Cliff? Hey Cliff. Hey there. If you want to buy something from a shop, you'll have to wait till it opens. Yeah, yeah, no, I wanted to oh no, I guess I can't. Come back. Okay, hold on. Hey Cliff. I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties for her. I think it's time we gave everything back to you, so take this key and make yourself at home at our motel. It'll open the room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Hope it suits you. Thank you. That is exactly soon now. what I needed. Thank you very, very much. I was hoping he would give me that key because I do need to store a few things. We are carrying quite a bit of stuff that I really don't need to be carrying everywhere. So we have a nice little room. It's uh, good for this part of the wasteland, I think. Ooh, anything in there? I'll take the stem pack. You can keep all the purified water. Yeah, nice little room. We have our a little footlocker down here. We have a safe, which is good for storing things, which, yay. Well, it is really nice to be able to have a room here in a town that we can store everything in that we don't need. So I guess it's time to definitely head up over to Repcon and deal with this school situation. Hello, ma'am. Still just hanging around. I think she just kind of does. I don't think she ever really leaves this area. And it looks like we've already got ghouls laying out on the road. You, Nope, you've got nothing on you. Yeah, the glowing ones for some reason. Well, I guess it would make sense. They just radiate radiation. Looks like we've got one right over there. Let's get rid of Whoop. you. Thank you very much. Need to mine the aim on this gun just a tad bit more. Now, sometimes there are glowing ones up there, so I'd like to. Ooh, nice caps. Why would you have caps, though? Of all the things you could have picked up, caps would not be one of the things I would think would be high on your priority list. Maybe, like, I don't know, an arm, some human flesh to pull out when you're, when you're hungry. Uh, can I bat to you? Man, we are not hardly doing any damage to him at all. And I've got... Yep, no, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, oh, holy bobs, you are fast. Yeah, you are very fast. Uh, bats, bats, your legs. Go to the leg, go to the leg, go to the leg. Shoot it off. Shoot it off. There we go. Holy hack. This gun, I like it. But, no. It doesn't reload fast enough. Die! Thank you. Good gravy, dude. That was ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my good night. So, there's probably more. I hate dealing with the glowing ones. Ghouls are like... My least favorite enemy in the game to fight. They really are. Right behind the dang centaurs. Oh, I see you down there. Can I get you? I can. That gave me karma for killing ghouls. Okay. Oh, nope. Here you come. Yeah, there's another one back there. I think he's way too far back for me to get, though. Yeah, I see you back there. Here you come. Here you come. Come on, keep coming. Never mind, don't. <laughs> Ooh, that is one dead pile of ghoul flesh. Oh, I like it. Oh, this one played the harmonica. Good for him. And there's so many bits of giblets over here. I'm not quite sure which ghoul belongs to which ghoul. Oh, this was a Kimmy ghoul. He's got some mintats. I like that. 
microfusion you've got the laser rifle that's the one that is pretty decent all repaired up nothing in there you know you've been playing oblivion too long when you open up your inventory trying to find your lock picking uh, magic skill <laughs> I love it. it doesn't work that way but yeah got a lot of good things in this area that you can pick up even a little bit of jet on the ground part of a feral goal yeah I already looked at you all right got some bottle caps got some ammo got some grenades and mines those are all all going to come in handy and we should probably suck down a couple of but did I get a star bottle cap no, I think it was just they put the, the one in my inventory. Another bright follower. Plasma rifle. There we go. That's really worth some money. Even in bad condition, that's worth some money. Take all that. Another one. Thank you, thank you. Sorry about your... Uh, your bottle stack there dude didn't mean to knock that over but some good things to pick up up there plus a couple of those what plasma rifle laser rifles those are going to solve very well as soon as i can find well i guess when we get to new vegas i could probably sell them at the the gun runners they tend to have lots of money for us always a good thing it's my primary vendor in the wasteland yeah, I see you guys up there. There are quite a few of them. Don't suppose you guys want to just like very gently run over this way. One down. Two down. Ah, uh, here we go. One of them's coming up towards me. Had enough. Wait, who are you? Over here. Who are you? What the heck are you doing here? Excuse me. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come run it. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. Yeah, thanks. You took my experience, dude. I was counting on that experience. Well, holy heck. Little jerk face. Ooh, 308 rounds. What the bobs? Can't believe he just straight up came over here and shot up my poor little ghouls that I was target practicing on. What the bobs? Little piece of giblet hanging out. Lots of these bright followers just laying around out here. Ooh, very nice. Thank you very much. Any more ghouls hanging out up there? I don't know if there are or not. They... Oh, I know who they got in a fight with. Never mind. <laughs> like, who in the bobs were they fighting with? But it would have been the, um, yeah. A, wow. Wow. A recharger pistol. My kid likes those. No, I didn't want that. I want... Yep. Yeah. No. That, please. No, that one there. There we go. A little bit more ammo. Thank goodness ammo doesn't weigh anything. I'm carrying, like, my ammunition store in my pocket right now. Oh, yeah, you couldn't have been here for these guys, could you? Yep. Bob up, bob up, bob up. Dang, you guys are fast. No. Bats him, bats him, bats him, bats him. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do something quick. Do something. What are you doing? What are you doing? I think we're stuck. In some kind of weird animation. What in the holy bobs? 
What in the world? Kill him, please. Thank you. That's all I asked you to do. Good night. Not get ambushed by them. What in the world? I swear. <laughs> some days. Some days. Love that uh, animation I was stuck in. Uh, that was a classic. Haven't seen that one in a long time. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and very carefully bob inside the... Where'd it go? There we go. Let's go to our pistol, though. Hey, over here. Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Wait, who are you? Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. All right. Get moving. Okay, well, apparently there are people here and nightkin and ghouls. Whoa, anyone else? Anyone else? I was not prepared. I'm still in danger. Ah, there you are. Thank you. Don't be sneaking up on a girl, dang it. Can't be doing stuff like that. Was not quite ready for them to scoop out at me with their butter knives and all that nasty stuff. Yeah, we're getting kind of low on Sunset Sarsaparilla. Well, not really, but you know how it goes. Sue, so I think there's one over in that side. Don't believe there's anything in here except healing. Yes. I always forget which way he told me to go. So I always get turned around. I is it this way. I know like you don't really need to fight all these ghouls if you don't want to. You can just leave them cuz they're going to be bugging out soon. So if I can leave some of them, I will. Another plasma defender, sure, why not? Wow. A lot of things went down here and not good things at all I'll definitely come through and scoop up everything here in the building because there are a few things in areas that I'd like to get without blowing all the ghouls apart save a little bit for the the great journey right well somebody doesn't like me being in here did I look at you? No, I haven't looked at you yet. Okay, fair enough. Where in the bobs are you? I'd really rather you just show up. I hate being in caution and not knowing where the heck they are. It makes me nervous. Actually, I want to look at you real quick. I don't... Uh-oh. Yeah, I hear you. But where are you? Definitely am not liking this at all. Okay, we're back in caution. That's just a... Uh... Oh, no. Where in the bobs are you? Whoa. Did I want to do that? Apparently, I did. Oh, there you are. Okay, hold on. Got your leg, and you're dead. There we go. Lord Death. Very nice. Dog meat and cigarettes. Well, that's one heck of a combination. You don't see that every day. So, this is... Is this one of the seats I was looking for? Could be... Yeah, this one has two stealth boys in it. That was what I was looking for. Keep your empty syringes. Alright, I still hear ghouls. I say we just 
keep moving on and find the room we need to be in instead of just being out here exploring all this that I don't need to be getting into. I went that way, so is this the way I need to go? Yeah, no. Don't need anything to do with that room. Yeah, I don't want to be in there. Definitely don't want to be in there. Let's warm our way this way. Okay, well, found another ghoul. Holy heck. I get so turned around in this place. Don't know why. It's like, it's not really that hard. They just, I'm not getting buildings at all. No, we're, we're good there. Don't need any of that junk. Where are we at now? Oh, hi. Yeah, you weren't who I was expecting. A wrench, huh? Oh, it was a fixer ghoul. Sorry, dude. Sorry. <laughs> it was you or me, and it didn't. I didn't want it to be me. And now I'm right back at the beginning. Did I just need to go back this way? Don't tell me it was as simple as this, going this way. Oh, wait, no. I bypassed that door. I didn't look through it, so... Well, we managed to make it all the way up here to the top floor. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for. That's an average lock safe. I think I can open that up. Is there a... could have swore there was a magazine in here. Do I have... There we go. Oh. Okay. Still in caution. Let's, uh... Just turn that pit boy light right back out. Yeah. There we go. Two more stealth boys. I'll take those. Some energy cells. Yeah, you can keep that. There we go. Not too shabby. So, four stealth boys. I think that puts me up to eight if we need them. I'll probably be using them at some point or another. I do, I do like the stealth boy. They're quite fun. Anything in here? Probably nothing worth, uh... Nothing worth grabbing. Let's head over this way. I, I totally feel like I've gotten turned around. And I've found all the wrong wrong doors. And we cannot go that way. So it looks like we are going through the bedroom. But there is a ghoul buddy around here somewhere. Not sure where said ghoul buddy is. But... There you go, bud. He is not a ghoul buddy anymore. Ah! Found where I need to be. And they have hitboxes, because why not? Ah, that's that the leg. Go for the leg, go for the leg. Thank you. Another one coming in. Where'd he go? I know you're in there, buddy. I know you're in there. Dirty water. Okay, that's more what I was expecting on them. Where did he go? There you go, bud. Whoa. Chunks went flying everywhere. Whoop. Yeah, I'll take those. <laughs> Poor little guy. He never even saw that coming. Yeah, see, I could have come in from over over there. Now who sees me? Ah, see you over there. Well, let's just deal with you. Now that I've cleared out this whole place, can't leave one behind. For goodness sakes, where did you go? You were just here. Where did... Literally, where did you go? No clue. He just bobbed right on off. It's fine. 10 millimeter though. Thank you. 
begs the question, why are there so many dead Brahmin in here? Good gravy. Never seen anything like it. Not sure if it was the ghouls who did it or the night can. Anyways, let's go ahead and make our way upstairs like we were asked to. We can put our gun away. We should should be good now to make it all the way up to the top. I don't believe there are any more ghouls out to uh, to get me from this point on. Ooh, sorry, brother. Another plasma defender, sure. Okay. God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs. Pardon me, Jason, before I throw up just from looking at you. Uh, where, where Great can, one can be found upstairs? Don't think about wasting his time. He's very important. He should feel lucky to be granted some of his time. Yeah, dude. I hate to tell you this, but. You're, you're not a ghoul. You're just not a ghoul. Anyways, let's go find... Go find Jason. It's around here somewhere. Actually... Ah, here we go. Let's head up here and find Jason. You are not. You, he's probably in the... Yeah, back room here. Hey, Chris. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Well, who are ye? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. What's the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Well, tell me more about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Well, what's the deal with that human who let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Okay. So you said that the demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours, and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Sure, I'll take care of your demons. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Okie dokie. Well, let's, uh... Go deal with the demons. Oh, yay. Night can. They're fun. Ah, here we go. This is what I need to be. 
Always, oh, whoa, 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 always getting turned around. Do not want to take the big plunge off the top there. That would did not go good for me at all. So I did have a ghoul hanging around out here, but hopefully he's not going to give us any problems. Although, just in case, we've got our gun. And this is where we need to go. We could have just actually, like, picked our way in. Now, the problem is, there are Nightkin down here. And Nightkin are invisible. And I really don't want to, uh, to run into these Nightkin. So, I am actually, I think gonna pop a stealth boy it just because I don't know where there's and I know there's one that walks up and down there we've got plenty of stealth boys I've got, yeah I've got nine so we're gonna use that and then there he goes right there yeah I just saw his little wibble don't come back don't come back there you go buddy there you go let's put our gun away don't want anything to do with that. And I we should be safe here, yes. What's that, Adler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Adler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Adler, I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? I came here on behalf of the ghouls upstairs. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom. Told them stay put. But they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Oh, who is Antler? Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Oh, I didn't mean to piss you off. Antler, a human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Okay. And, well, let me, how can I help you? Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right, a, a piece of paper, shipment invoice, hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room, one we don't search yet, the one we can't search. And why can't you search the last room? A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then you come along. Antler says you are solution. Okay, well, I'll see if I can find the ship boy stockpile for you then, or stealth yes, boy. Antler says ship we boy? leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Okie dokie. Well, yeah. Ship boys. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it was a, a ship boy. Uh, so, I already know how I'm dealing with this guy. Uh, yeah. Rebar club. Yeah. Nail board. Don't need it. Actually, let me go over to that gun, probably. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? Well, Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. Well, how'd you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? 
Ah, oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room and set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. Well, you don't look like the other followers from Bright's group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine looking ghoulettes in it. If you uh, say so. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Yeah, you would. Anyway, I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Alright, well. How can I help you get out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Well, I guess I'll sort of try to find your friend. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Mm-hmm. Here's hoping she's okay. Yeah, well, sorry about this, but Harlan, I hate to do it to you. I really hate to do it to you. I guess I can't do that so I just don't feel like going down and fighting my way through all those ghouls or not ghouls but uh, yeah all the night can not feeling it sorry really sorry dude but not sorry so this place trapped to the nines what did you have a hunting rifle and oh you know what I didn't put on I got that, uh, that thing, oh no, explosives 28 or higher, so I can't undo those, alright, but I can't undo that, as long as I am just really careful going up, I just think all the traps are down below, he didn't trap himself up here, I kind of feel bad, but I don't, because I don't want to go bump into a bunch of Nikon. They get really upset if you run into or kill more than, um, more than, I think, one or two of them. And there's at least probably one I would end up running into and killing. And, yeah, this was the better part of Valor, in my opinion. This is the better part of keeping my bum safe. Where were you standing, dude? You were just right out here, weren't you? Yeah, you should have a bunch of ammo out here. Yeah, thank you very much. And some jut in the corner because why would you not have any jut? Is it safe? It's probably safe. Yeah, it was safe. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Tell them the bad news that there are no shipments here. They got sent back pre-war and I can oh there you are Antler sings for stealth boys have you found them oh well, there is no stockpile of stealth boys in this building liar the invoice said stealth boys here Antler read it out loud to me the stealth boys were sent here by mistake then sent back but invoice note said stealth boys were here why can't that note be true what Antler could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. You're lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. Okay. And with that, everybody bobbles off. And things are cool. We can now head up. Things should be good. I can just get out of here. 
no uh, no interference from them. We can head back up to Jason. Yeah, I do feel bad for Harlan, but his girlfriend was dead. And I would have had to, like, slip by all those dang ghouls. Just not going to happen. Hey, dude. Oh, yeah, you guys. Hey there. I guess who flipped around in this place? There it is. There we go. All right, Jason, good news. Is the way clear? The way is clear. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. All right, well, let's go find them as they bobble off. But before I do that, I'm going to help myself to use some, uh, is that a, yeah, just a few rad drugs. I could really use a few of them. I don't think there's anything in there. Yeah, no. Yeah, those are all empty, nothing important. Just wanted a few rad X and rad away. They'll come in handy at some point or another. Yeah, I'm good with the mintats don't really think I need them. Is this the right way? It could be. And in here we could find Ed Jason again. I need to speak with you one last time before I descend into the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete. But the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Can we quickly talk about Chris? After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. So are you going to just leave Chris behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Well, I guess it's uh, none of my business. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Yeah. All right. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Yeah. All right, dude. Well, you just bobble on off. All right, Chris. I was told to hey. speak with you. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. So, how can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. All right, well, what about that igniting agent? Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters. Okay, well, I have this entire container. Yes, and 
That's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the... Okay, so... We got any tips Repcon for me? Been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. I already got that one. All right. Later. Well, I already know where I need to go. But I think we are going to go and do that in the next episode. This one feels like it's starting to get too long. I am going to grab the space suit, though, because how can we leave a good space suit behind? Right? Can't do that. And it's actually hey. pretty dang good. Yeah, dude, we're fine. We are fine. Is that? No. That must be the way down to the basement. Yeah, I think I saw I think I saw Jason heading down in there. I love how they're all in their little space suits. Got their little ghoul friends. But in the next episode, we are going to head over towards the junkyard and, and check it out. See if we can speak with old lady Gibson and maybe get uh, the item that we need. But until then, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Walker. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.